Honorable, the, the meeting is called for a special purpose. Honorable the Floyd Shibambo, I have not recognized you. Will you please recognize me? What are you standing on? On a point of order, 14 F What is your point of order? The point of order is that the rules of the joint sitting apply even when there's a state of nation address. That is number one. You can't recognize the clerk as a president. Of what? Who voted for him? Are you, are you, are you saying this parliament, a democratic elected parliament, Honorable. must recognize a white only president who was elected by a criminal system of apartheid? Honorable you know, must Shibambu. Him as such. Honorable Shibambu. It cannot be correct. Honorable Shibambu, yes, we're right. The joint rules apply to this city. Order. 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 You are right. The rules apply. And the rules apply and those rules have never been questioned. History of this country is there for everybody. We recognized that there was an apartheid system. We also recognized that it was a system that brought us all into this house. And therefore, that submission, that point of order is not sustained. Speaker. Speaker. What are you standing on? On the point of order. What is just, your point just of order? I accept that you as a presiding officer, as you made a mistake by inviting the clerk. So the clerk must go. Like you've been making mistakes. Please take your week. seat. We have not can made tell, any. Can you ask that Please to take go. your seat, honourable member. We have not made any mistake. Take your seat. Honourable Speaker, you are talking about history. It's, what I'm telling you is not history. Honourable Malema, I did not interview. recognize you. Please take your seat. Did Clark get interview last week? Honourable Malema, I did not recognize you. Please wrong. take your seat. On a point of order, speak. What is your point of order? Speaker, you just said yourself that it was apartheid. Who presided over apartheid? The clerk. And just last week, he said apartheid was not crime against humanity. So we were humans enough to be killed by apartheid system. And the person who presided over that system must come and be seated here Honorable with us Mente. after killing our forefathers, Honorable Mente. Our, after killing our brothers and masters Honorable and sisters. Honorable Mente, please take your seat. No. You are taking your seat. <laughs> On a point of order, Speaker. Honorable members, are we going to go on and on and on on the matter of the presence of former President Hitler? Speaker. May I then tell this House Speaker. that the presence of former President Hitler in this House is proper because we have done it in terms of the rules. We have always been open about former presidents and former leaders of this house and therefore and therefore delaying the business of this house tonight on the matter of former president Hitler is not going to help us so may i suggest that i will not take any further points of orders on this matter speaker Honorable Ndosi, if you address me, you address me on a different point, not on the matter of I'm, former President I'm, I'm afraid, Speaker, you have a constitutional obligation to respect the rules. You do not make them as you go. There is no such a rule that you are anticipating what I'm going to stand on and rule on it in anticipation. That's number one. You are a commander of Mkondo Esizu. You. You ANC members sitting here, you taught us, you said we must reconcile with these people because they accept the mistakes that they have made. That is history. That's okay. We are not talking about history. We are talking about last week. The club takes platform in front of the whole world and says apartheid was not a crime against humanity. 
You must be ashamed you are sitting here clapping hands as ANC people. You must be ashamed. Honorable no one is even raising us. Yeah. Speaker, no one is even raising a substantial argument in relation to what we are raising. You are busy clapping hands. Honorable Ndlozi. The black is an apartheid Honorable apology. Honorable Not in 1990. Honorable Ndlozi. 1994. My ruling stands. Yesterday. Take your seat. I am very, very clear and simple. If you are standing up on any point, it is not on the point of the Honorable, the former President of this country. I, I am not going to go on and on on the matter of former President Declare. Speaker, I, I, I'm willing to accept that the ANC is defending Dittlerk in this house. And South Africans should see the ANC for what it is. It defended Dittlerk, they are clapping hands for Dittlerk in defense Malema of a murderer. Dittlerk remains a murderer. Honorable Let's Malema, proceed, take your seat. Honorable Speaker. Honorable members, please do not stand before you are recognized. Honorable Mulder, you are recognized. Thank you, Honorable, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, we are not going to have a debate on the past tonight. But, but, but. Order. 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 Honorable, Order. Honorable Speaker. Order. Honorable members of the EFF, you will respect anybody who is on the floor of this house. Honorable Speaker. I know you will respect any speaker who is on the floor of this house because when you stood, people allowed you to say your piece. Honorable, Honorable Murder, please continue. Yes, thank you, ma'am. Honorable Speaker, we should just be technically and legally and constitutionally correct and should deal with the real facts. What the Honorable Members of the EFF don't know, it seems, is that in 1994 there was an election where all South Africans participated, all South Africans, and in that election, Mr. de Klerk was elected one of the deputy presidents of South Africa. And he served, he served. He you served, are protect Honorable you, Mulder. He served as a member of parliament after 1994 as a deputy president of South Africa. So the president that you have set is the correct one and I suggest that we proceed with the business of the house. The Honorable Butelez. Honourable Speaker, Honourable Chairperson of the National House of uh, Pro Provinces, Your Excellency, our President, Honourable Members, I was wondering, Honourable Speaker, whether we can have our say, and the only way in which we can have our say is to put the matter to the vote, so that all of us can have a say on the matter. Let's vote. Yeah. Yeah. Then, then we can all have a say on the matter. Because we we'll all like, want to have a say on the matter. Speaker, I want to second the motion that we vote on the clerk. Let's vote and see who's going to vote for the clerk to sit in this house. Who today will know who was a spy. The spies are going to be exposed. Order. Let's vote. Honourable members, I have not yet responded to Honourable Butelis.